and hello. Welcome to Our Ventura TV. I'm MB Hanrahan, and today is my guest and my friend, in all <laughs> open disclosure, David Yoshitomi. And David is the uh, current manager. Uh, he's the arts and culture manager. And this is an office that goes through the economic vitality uh, section of our county, Ventura County office. So David, first off, thank you so much. I'm sure you're very busy and we appreciate you being here today. And um, why don't you describe the role of this office, which may I say, and although this program is gonna go on into perpetuity, it is a new office as of 2022. So yes. Yeah. And MB, thank you so much for having me. And I'm very happy to be here and exciting. And it's great to see you. Um, so yes, this um, office was actually created earlier this year in uh, May of 2022 and was recently filled when I came on board in September. And um, it's the role as arts and culture manager. And it is a um, role that falls under economic vitality within the county executive office here at the county of Ventura. So it's tied in um, to um, not only, of course, countywide initiatives, but more specifically towards um, economic vitality and an economic vitality strategic plan that was created um, in 2017. Oh. And one of the um, initiatives or, or sections that have come out of that plan was to establish a, um, um, a focus more on the, the creative economy and the creative sectors of the county that was seen as a key sector um, um, within the, the eco economic breakdown of the county of Ventura here. Well, when we hear the term manager, we think like, well, there's something here to manage. So would you say this is a coordinating role or, or like an instigating role or both? Um, I think it's, it's quite a bit of both. Uh, the primary role, uh, the primary fun function of this role is going to bring the arts community and the creative sectors together in a um, convening manner and to really um, engage with the community partners, with the artists, with the arts organizations, with the creative industry leaders and um, work together to advance um, essentially creative efforts in, in the county of Ventura and, and all the cities that, that are um, within the map there. So it would be like, I'm, I'm assuming some development, like actually looking for grants and looking for money sources. And then also if someone comes to you and says, we've got this idea and, or we have some money and then you would, mm -hmm. you would work that way. Yeah, there's, I think, out the gates here, the, the primary, the first um, project that we're really going to be working on here in the county is going to be creating a um, cultural plan for the county. Um, and that will be taking a look countywide at, um, uh, first, we're, we want to take a look, take a better understanding of what's the status of the creative economy coming out of COVID. So we want to uh, take a look at the economic data to see essentially where we're at. Then we also want to look at the social impact. We want to understand what's the importance, what are the, the social attributes of having arts activities in the county and, and access for residents to participate, um, whether I want to be actively involved in a creative industry and that will be my field of employment, or if I simply um, am a participant in the arts and I want to attend art art openings or um, go to the theater or go to concerts. Um, I want to take dance classes on the weekends, those type of things, um, and really understanding why why those elements in a community are important. Um, so that would be the, the first phase of kind of the cultural plan. We then want to do an asset map. We want to understand um, where the um, the what's the current landscape? Where where are the, the cultural assets within the community? Where are residents finding their uh, their creative outlets? Uh, where are they able to go and learn a craft or a trade um, within the creative sectors? Uh, where are they able to um, um, you know, first be exposed to the arts, um, which is an important one for the youth in the community there. Um, and then from there, we'll also do a needs assessment coming out of that asset map, determining where there are any gaps in the services and um, start taking a look and at, um, as part of the final cultural plan, if you will, start taking a look at where the county and working with the community partners um, can work together to help to help kind of advance the successes that have already taken place here. 
And I want to say that the, the whole process, a little long-winded answer here, but the whole process really is going to be involved uh, heavily on community engagement, working with community partners, receiving resident impact, working with artists such as yourself, determining where where you found strengths, where you see that there's opportunities for improvement. And I think the, together the assembly of those voices will really make a, a strong cultural plan um, to move move the, the creative economy and the creative sectors forward here in the county. Well, I'm supposed to be really neutral and I inadvertently clapped and but I, I will in, again in full disclosure, what intrigued me about what you were saying is and I, and maybe you maybe this is something that you're figuring out right now, but it seems like one of the opportunities with this new management with this new office of um, cultural uh, uh, you know uh, arts and culture is that people can come to you with ideas you know um and and that it's not uh just i don't know figuring out what is needed and wanted from an office which this is no disrespect you know and i know you get around but people come up with all sorts of things and you know yes it's it's reinventing you know there's a certain amount of reinventing the wheel people move people come people go you know things have been done in the past and they're like <laughs> what about this why don't we have this and you're like oh we used to have that all the time <laughs> so yeah i'm i would just that's why i was indicating that I was excited. And then I guess, so I'd like to just kind of go into really quickly, how, besides, well, of course, we'll get out to your, your information, but how do people, how do you see people interfacing with you and in, in maybe in terms of this cultural plan? And then youth, and, and I'm, I won't make any more commentary. So there we go, throwing it back into your court. In terms of um, the cultural plan, there, I think there's going to be a, a multiple ways for the community to engage. I, I think, you know, and I don't want to get too far ahead of anything, but I think some standard um, outreach materials will be um, surveys and um, also will be led by a, 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 a steering committee that's going to be um, comprised of community members throughout the county uh, to really help guide and, and steer the process there. Um, sure that we are reaching communities that maybe not have, have their voices have not been heard in cultural planning and planning initiatives within the county prior to that. So we want to really make sure it's representative of the entire um, population here of the the, the county of Ventura. And then um, we also, one of the, the things we're looking at here would be to create an um, online engagement platform. And I'm not sure exactly how this is mapped out, but where people can submit their own ideas and provide their own input that may not be necessarily fit in within the bounds of a survey. A survey is going to ask specific questions, but um, we want to have a little bit more community sourced uh, um, uh, 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 um, a portal, if you will, where the community oh, yeah. can provide provide some of their input on what they feel. And not only, I, I think part of it will be understanding where they um, have found um, what's important to them. That's part of the asset mapping exercise that we're going to go through, but then also some of their ideas on where they want to move forward. Um, and then um, additionally, I think, you know, through all this, I, I think one of the key parts um, to participating and being is, is staying engaged with your whatever activities you're doing now. So if you are an artist, keep doing what you're doing. If you are a participant or a patron of theater, keep attending the shows, um, you know, and, and keep doing what you're doing. Please support, donate, fundraise, um, participate in, uh, volunteer with the arts organizations. Because I, I do really see a, a strong arts community throughout the county. And this is from, from East County to West County. I've had the privilege of um, talking to quite a few representatives since I've come on board. And there's so many great things happening. And I would say, um, please continue to support them in whatever manner you feel comfortable and what you enjoy. Um, and then towards youth, I, I think, you know, I mentioned the steering committee. And youth, the youth voice and youth engagement is going to be critical in driving this process. Critical, I, critical. I'd, I'd imagine there's going to be some focus groups and maybe specific youth youth outreach um, manners, um, either through the schools or um, maybe to the, the local youth councils and the different um, agencies, but really incorporating the youth voice there and understanding um, what their needs are and what their vision is. Because um, mm -hmm. these youth, in a lot of ways, they are, they are the ones that will be living within the results of whatever cultural plan comes forth. Um, so it's critical to see what they see important. What are the emerging art forms? Um, what are the, how are they, you know, I think with technology, creativity has changed um, and, and they're exposed to different um, avenues of create or different creative outlets than, than um, you and I might've had. Um, and to understand what they feel is their creative
creative outlet and um, how the, the 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 county and um, other uh, arts agencies, arts organizations can support that. Well, it seems to me that, um, you know, just the, the concept of attendance and support, they, those have new and different meanings, you know, mm -hmm. and um, like, what is the format that people even want to go see, you know, right. <laughs> or, or be involved in or create. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just kind of throwing that out there because I myself am, I'm a, I'm an anachronism, you know, <laughs> and I know that. And just by attending events, I look around and I'm like, well, who's going to support this when these, you know, this group of people that are used to going to the theater, like you're saying, or maybe mm -hmm. used to going to art walks when they're gone, you know, mm -hmm. when they age out, sorry to say. So I'm glad and um, diversity as well. I'm certain that that must be on your mind. Yeah, no, um, I think in terms of the county's DEI efforts, I think the arts and culture role is going to fall is falling right into that. And I've already been in frequent conversations with our um, uh, diversity, equity, inclusion office here in the county, which is a, um, I believe, a, a established a couple of years ago. And um, there's there's just some very strong natural overlap in what we're doing. So um, we're sitting in on each other's meetings and. I think oh, one of the, the positive things, um, the many positive things is really that we're, there's an opportunity for us to really align our work and help, um, you know, support DEI and then also support um, arts and culture at the same time. So, Well, it sounds like people should not be afraid to bang on your bells. How can yeah. people right now with the form, you know, with the uh, <laughs> structure we have, what's the best way for people to get in touch? Um, with you? Yeah, I, I will. Uh, my email is david.yoshitomi at ventura.org. So um, please reach out. My phone number is 805-662-6706. Please wow. feel free to call me. And um, those are, um, if you have ideas or just want to share with me a little bit about your cultural organization or your things that you, ideas you might have, um, more than happy to speak with you. I, I think a lot of this this post, especially as I'm coming into it, is really going to be listening and understanding um, what's oh. out there. Because there's a, I, th I think as I'm as I'm meeting more and more people, there's um, there's so many amazing things that I, I'm not familiar with yet, and mm -hmm. I'd love that opportunity to learn. So, I don't. I think that people. It's my feeling that people don't even have, just don't even think that there's a place where they can bring an idea right now. <laughs> you know, maybe some know, but to me, one of the reasons why I just, you know, I'm completely grateful that you have this position and why I wanted you on there is for people to know that this exists now, mm -hmm. you know, this exists. It's yeah. your problem if you're not calling up and, and, and being in partnership and looking for ways to, um, you know, yeah. expand. No, it, absolutely. And the more, more contacts, you know, we'll, we'll of course do the, the standard things of uh, developing a database and, um, you know, ways, uh, communication tools and all of that to help outreach to the community. But in the meantime, please, yes, yes. Um, you know, contact me, share with me your ideas. Um, I, you know, while I may not be able to, you know, provide the venue for your program, I can certainly put, put you in touch with other people that might be able to, to help take your projects to the next steps there. Wow. There's hope, folks. Thank you so much, David, for being with us today. Thank you, Envy. And I want to thank you for joining us today on Our Ventura TV. I'm Envy Hanrahan, and I'll see you again soon. <laughs>